Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Nova Iron Galaxy. Today will be the first guide video and we will talk about ships and how to make them stronger. You all know in the ship center you can assemble and edit your ships and very likely you already heard or saw that some people have ships that are very very powerful. You can see here my Argo, this is my best ship so far by really far. Got a total power of 16,396, while I do have a Puck that only got 3,800. I also have a Puck with 8,200. So, how do we get to these higher numbers? What do we do, or what can we do, and what should we do? These are the questions we will try to answer today. And um, let's take a look at the options and the conditions we have to look at. So you can see there's a total of six fleet slots. Um, you will be able to unlock the first two very quickly. The third comes also usually in the first week. And after this it's getting slower. Now everyone I talked with we all agree it is the best to have one very strong fleet. Meaning you need one strong captain that will allow you to put more leadership inside and then put the strongest ships inside there that you can. And um, let's start with what can we do to improve our ship strengths. So the first thing we will look into is probably the most, um, yeah, the thing that most of you already did. Um, we will take a look into leveling up your ships itself. The great thing is we can do all of this in the components area. So let's go to Hull and you see my Argo is level 42. If I click on edit, I can upgrade it if I do have enough resources. And the increase is really big. Do not underestimate this. You see here from 30,500 I go, I get an additional 400. Um, and in lower levels it is even more extreme. Let's take this book for example. From 14,000 I get an additional 500 HP. So um, very very big increases. Therefore should you do it like I did it here. Increase one ship extra orbital over the others. No. Um, obviously the bonus is higher early on. Um, we can also take a look here at the book, level 20 to level 21 plus 4, 4, uh, 455, um, the level 1 plus 455. So you always get the same amount per level there, but um, it's getting more expensive. So make sure you choose the ships for your main fleet and you level all of them up as much as possible. Now there's also one thing I would recommend you. Or two things. First, focus on legendary ships if you have some SSR ships um, and focus on the heavier class. So if you have the choice to rank up a frigate or a destroyer, rank up the destroyer. Um, would I rank up uh, purple frigates? Honestly, no, I don't think, um, at least not at the moment, I would not do this because the resources I need to rank them up are very, very rare. Um, I could use a lot more of them. So that's the first thing, ranking up your ship. When you rank up your ship, what do you get? You get HP, armor and shield. So this thing will live longer. Now we also can rank up our gear. We do have the engine to rank up. The engine is very likely the most important component in every hull because it provides you the energy and it does define the speed of the ship. Now there's one thing again, um, something that I was surprised, but smaller engines are slower than bigger engines. Um, I was surprised to see that because that will mean at the end that very likely heavier ships will be faster. So keep that in mind for the end game. Same thing here, I would upgrade the legendary, as you can see I did upgrade the legendary ones. I did start at the beginning also upgrading um, an epic one. What do we get when we upgrade it? We get HP again um, and that's it. So 
you do not get as much bonies upgrading an engine as you would get upgrading the hull. Um, would I upgrade the engine? A few levels, yes, it gives you some nice HP, but not as extreme as upgrading the hull. Now, a much more important component to upgrade, in my opinion, are weapons. As always, focus on the SSR ones. Um, also there, I would probably look that I upgrade medium ones more than um, small ones. You can see I did even start upgrading medium sized um, epic weapons just because I use a lot of them, but I do, I need many, many more. One hull usually can take four or five weapons for the small ships. Um, and what do we get? we get increased attack. So the energy consumption, accuracy, all of this stays the same, but the attack goes up. And um, let's see, here we have a level six one, plus 56. Here we do have a level 10 one, plus 56. So it's the same thing. Um, make sure you upgrade all your weapons. This way you pay less for the same bonus and therefore you can increase your overall strength. So make sure or it's better to have all weapons of your main fleet upgraded to level 5 than two or three weapons to level 10 and the rest is still at level 1. You see, um, especially with the hull, I did this mistake. It took me a little bit of time to learn this. Armor, I think you already get it. Um, sure, you get HP and then the attribute it adds. Um, I did not upgrade much armor because I do not have medium sized um, legendary one. So I did focus mainly now on the weapons and this is also where I will put in the future most of it in. Um, one honorably mention I have to add there are fire control systems because they do give you, uh, they give you additional accuracy. And if you run kinetic weapons, accuracy is very important um, and you can only increase it so much. So it will be very likely one of the most important things to upgrade in these cases. But as you see, um, I only have one small accuracy component, so therefore not so much for me to upgrade. So upgrades. First of all, upgrade the hull. It gives you HP, armor and shield. Your ships will live longer. Second, um, upgrade a little bit the engines, not too much, because you only get HP and evade. So the second thing you should upgrade therefore would be weapons. Hull, weapons, then armor, engines, components. Um, very likely if you do all your weapons for all your ships in the main fleet you will not have many resources anymore so probably you will focus on hull and weapons if you do it this way. Now what else can we do to make our fleet stronger, our ship, sorry our ship stronger. To make the fleet stronger we can work with the Admiral. That will be a different video. Um, we already talked now about sure using the right or the best, um, the strongest legendary SSR hulls. Level these up, put equipment inside, that is also leveled up. But we all have one more thing that we can do. And you see this now with the chameleon here. I already started doing this. We can enhance these hulls. And this gives us pretty, pretty nice bonies. Plus 25% HP on the first node. The second node plus 25% attack. This is big. Now, it is also expensive. To do this, you have to give up another hull of that type. So if you want to rank up the chameleon, if you want to enhance it for each of these points, you have to sacrifice one other chameleon hull. Does this make sense? Um, early on in game, I would not recommend it, but obviously this is um, an end game um, choice or honestly, it's a must. The bonus is pretty big. Your fleet will always be maximum nine ships. You cannot put more than nine ships inside. And if you want to get the strongest and most powerful fleet, these upgrades will make a huge difference. Um, 
As always make sure you have enough ships to fill up your remaining fleets. But then if you do so, this is really a nice option. And you cannot only upgrade um, SSR ships, you can also upgrade epic ships. Um, the bonus there is smaller. Here we would get only 12% ship attack. Also each ship type has different bonies. Um, so keep that in mind. For some ships it makes a lot of sense or more sense to upgrade them like the Dodger 12%. This is pretty nice and I do have quite a few do Dogodas. Um, for the... <laughs> now it's getting difficult. Seacoda. Uh, this ship here. Um, if we take a look we increase the HP and after this we would need to put something inside here. Now this is getting interesting. There is 0 out of 2. And for this video I will try it. Do we need to put 2 points inside here for the 12% or will we get 2 times 12%? So I will show you now how that works. You will need to get um, additional hulls of this ship type. I do have one here, so I will reset this one that it is available. We already learned or we know that we need at least one for the first and then two for the second node. So that means we need to sacrifice a total of three of these ships. You can only do this in your components area and you click on remove here on the bottom. And then you can look for the hull you want to um, sacrifice. Now in our case we do have three here so that is perfect. Um, we click on the remove then we select one two three. On the right side we see what resources we do get. We not only get the battleships we also get other resources so later when you grow out of certain equipment you can always um, yeah remove or recycle recycle would probably be the better word you can recycle it and um, use these um, materials then to make another ship more powerful so this is also a frigate um, we can now go to enhance. You see I have one out of three um, battleships. All I have to do is click upgrade and it is already done. Next thing sure we want to get our 12%. We click upgrade once. It did increase the strength. So if we take a look now at the firepower um, here DPR. We do have a total of 865 DPR damage per round. So let's enhance it one more time. And here we go. Yes, it did increase the ship attack by 24%. Wow, that is nice because now all I need to do... Oh no, I would also need... Okay, I would also need to increase the shield to get the last point that would increase another 36%. So that would mean I need a total of one. Yes, two, three, four, five hulls to upgrade one hull to the max. I don't think I do have enough hulls here anymore. But um, anyhow, I think I was able to show you how this works and give you a good idea. Um, oh, we still have two. So let's do this. Um, I like you guys so much. I will sacrifice my last two hulls for this. Um, now back to the ship center. Edit the ship. And here it is. 4110 power at the moment. Enhancing two more times. Upgrade one. Oh god. And I missed that this is also... A level 2 one so we do have to reach level 2 that means I am unfortunately missing one hull to get an additional 36% I will do that sometime later as soon as I get another hull um, 4500 is the power of this ship now pretty nice um, I can already tell you I will upgrade the weapons so I will put the better weapons inside there 
to make it even stronger. But if you look now, this is stronger than my book now. Um, yes, it is level 13, I don't think. Um, yeah, the chameleon is also upgraded, so that doesn't count. And the book, it got my best equipment inside. So these are the ways to make single ships more powerful. Level up the ship, upgrade the weapons, upgrade the hull, um, and then you can even enhance the whole ship by sacrificing other ships. Um, if you have enough hulls and um, you want to get one very strong main fleet, this will be the way to go. But keep in mind, do not sacrifice too many hulls. You don't want to end up that you don't have enough ships anymore to fill up your second, third and fourth fleet. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it gave you a good idea about the basics, how to build up a strong ship, how to increase the power of a ship and um, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you on the next video again.